Benito Mussolini, founder of fascism and prime minister of Italy from 1922 to 1943, he allied with Nazi Germany and Japan in World War II. He was a father and had a few mistresses on the side. Born on July 19, 1883 in Forli, Italy, Benito Mussolini was the eldest of three children and was the first child of a local blacksmith. In later years, he expressed himself by his humble origins and often spoke of himself as a man of the people. Mussolini stuck up their relationship with Ida Dulcer. This was his first mistress. She was a lover and Italian fascist with Benito Mussolini. As a youth, Benito Mussolini showed much intelligence, but was boisterous and disobedient. Mussolini had a merchant for violence, even as a youth. Mussolini gained a reputation for bullying and fighting during his childhood. At age 10, he was expelled from religious boarding school for stabbing a classmate in the hand, and another stabbing incident took place at his next school. Rachel Mussolini came from a peasant family and moved in with Benito in 1910. They married in 1915. She bore five children by her husband. In her later life, she received a government pension until her death. The Mussolinis were not wealthy and lived in a rather small apartment. From his father, Benito learned strong socialist ideals and fierce behavior. Benito started as a low-ranking officer and climbed the ranks to finally become the prime minister. Benito formed the Fascist Party in March 1919 as the leader of the fascist movement. Mussolini explicitly encouraged violence against the socialists, thereby attracting new members found in extreme nationalism. In April 1919, Mussolini supporters stormed into the offices of a Milan newspaper and destroyed the printing presses. This act of violence was a terror tactic that would become the signature totalitarian regimes of the next few decades. In Italy, Benito Mussolini led Italy's fascist party. This party was composed of dissatisfied war veterans, nationalists, and also people fearing the rise of communism and Stalin's consolidation of power. In 1930, Italy's economy was weak after World War I and faced with unemployment and labor strikes, which were often led by communists. Mussolini promised order and stability and was not content to merely rule the nation, but with his black shirts, Mussolini controlled every aspect of Italian life and crushing all opposition. Mussolini's rise to power attempted to restore Italy's position as a world power. At one time, the Italian railroad system was notorious for the unreliability of its daily schedules. Benito Mussolini made the trains ran on time. During the fascist era, railroads and port facilities were improved and airfields and modern highway systems were built. Mussolini blended nationalism with socialism and came up with an economic fascism. This involved private ownership and government control of the economy. Individuals continued to own their own property and their businesses, but without the right to do what they wanted. Government told everybody what they must do and not do. Benito Mussolini thought making allies with Hitler would be the best option to help gain great power in Europe. Mussolini joined Hitler in Germany's war after Italy declared war again with France and Britain. Adolf Hitler and Mussolini met in Venice, Italy. Mussolini later describes the German dictator as a silly little monkey. Meeting between Adolf Hitler and Italian Foreign Minister Galileo Chiano meet to discuss Benito's disastrous invasion of Greece. Mussolini has been strongly influenced by Hitler over the years, and when World War II broke out, Mussolini sided with Germany, the Allied powers of Britain, and later with the U.S., who soon come out uh, after Mussolini. Yeah, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? I am a Nazi. 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 During the evening of July 24th and the early hours of the 25th, the Grand Council of the Fascist Government met to discuss the immediate future of Italy. In July 1943, Allied troops landed in Sicily. Mussolini was overthrown and imprisoned by his former colleagues in the fascist government. He was installed as a leader of a new government, but had little power. Over the years, 
he had taken total control of the government. Mussolini's fall was nearly as swift as his rise. Italy's failures in the war led to Mussolini being ousted from power in 1943. As the war ended in 1945, Mussolini tried to escape with Clara Puccini, who was his last mistress, but was seized no! by Italian partisans who shot him and strung up both of them.